Cool, we're here with Crash and Burn Racing. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to try to settle the dispute of whether or not this carbon fiber pattern is more rigid or more or stronger than this carbon fiber pattern right here. There's an argument that your arms on your quadcopter should always have the, the pattern running along the arm like this and it's supposed to be an advantage over to this. Now a lot of the arms that I cut are usually ran this way and I've never had really a problem with it but there's always someone out there saying it's wrong so we're going to find out if this is more rigid or stronger than this. I have an idea of how this is going to come out but I'd love to hear all of your opinions on what you think is going to happen first before I do this test. And speaking of the test, let's take a look at what I have got to test this. So this is the rig I came up with. Here I have a fishing scale that is going to be measured in kilograms and here I have my micrometer that's going to measure the length here as I pull down weight on this arm and I've tried to rule out or get rid of any variances that I could have um, to put this little carbon fiber arm in right here all I do is flush up to the back right here so I should be able to get this in here exactly the same each way and the point here is going to stay the same and I should be able to get this on here the same so I have four of each style that I'm going to test and it should be able to at least give us an idea if there's advantage of one or the other. So let's get started with this. Alright, got everything tart to zero. So I'm going to start slowly apply pressure and we're going to find out how much deflection we have for how much weight we're pulling on it. All right, we now have the diagonal carbon fiber pattern in this arm. So let's start applying pressure and see what happens with this one. Well, that's interesting. So this one actually did not break. It just bent. So Let's see if that's a thing with the uh, next three and we'll come back and we'll uh, compare data. So this setup ended up working quite well for all these arms. As you can see here, the straight arms all did have a failure at the weak point here. And all eight of these arms are exactly the same. They were cut on the same plate of carbon fiber. And I designed them to where when I zip time here, it's the exact same spot on each one of these frame, or excuse me, arms. And the diagonal arms here just ended up bending a little bit here. And if this was a, an arm on your quadcopter, you could just simply just bend it back and uh, continue flying. Let's now bring up the chart and see what kind of numbers we came up with. Looking at the straight carbon fiber pattern, you can see that the stiffness was much greater than the diagonal carbon fiber pattern. But this also brings up the question, how much stiffness do you really need in your quadcopter frame? And for these small arms for a diagonal pattern to be able to put up with about half a kilogram of force and have four millimeters of deflection, that's, I could see that scaling up to be completely usable. For me, I'd rather have the diagonal cut carbon fiber for my arms just because it's going to give a lot more without um, cracking the carbon fiber and it's really going to increase the durability of your quadcopter. But all this is just my opinion. I'd love to hear your guys' opinion in the comments down below. And maybe I even need to scale this up and test some 3 meter carbon fiber instead to really paint the best picture. Well, that wraps up this video. I am Korth Crash and Burn Racing, and thank you for watching.